Hey, my name is Emilio from Digital Bike Computing. Today, we're gonna to go through the simple steps on how to get an ISO file, whatever it may be, an installation of Windows, of Linux, of ESXi. We wanna get that ISO into VMware. We're gonna go through those steps today. Very, very easy to do. Before we do that, please subscribe to my channel, Digital Bike Computing, clicking on the notification bell to be kept up to date with all of my tech video releases. Let's go through those steps right now. So I work in IT and I absolutely love it. And today, the simple steps on how to get a ISO, an ISO file, or really any file, into your VMware environment. We're gonna do this from my Mac. We're gonna log into my Mac. If you're on Mac, Windows, or Linux, the process is exactly the same. We're gonna get into our web browser and we've got an ISO on our computer, on a server, whatever it may be, connect to that ESXi host via a browser so that we can then upload it into VMware. So here we are connected to our computer. Now the first thing is we want to connect directly to an ESXi host, which is what I'm doing, or you can do this by connecting into vCenter through a browser via the IP address. So either of the two will work. I'm just gonna log in as root directly to my host, and I'm presented my standard login screen that is connected directly to my host. In this case, through vCenter, it'll be slightly different with all your hosts listed. Now, what we wanna do is we wanna access the storage area through this um, vSphere environment, through the actual um, the web portal. So under here, I've got just the one data store. You may have multiple data stores, but we want to select one data store that you're going to be using to upload uh, and ISO. You could have some uh, Windows installers, some Linux installers, you could have a version of ESXi. What we wanna do is you wanna right click on that data store and select browse. And within here, what you're gonna see is you're gonna see a number of folders that contain your VM. So if your data store is empty, it'll look like it, it does right here because I don't have anything in this data store. If your data store contains virtual machines, which it may, you'll have folders here corresponding to the names of your virtual machines. What I like to do is I like to create a new folder within my data store and actually I call it ISOs. That way I know that all of my ISOs all live within here. This is where I'm storing them all. They're all in the one location to make it, that makes it very, very easy. So let's just select ISOs. The next step is now we select upload. Now, the ISO that you're going to be uploading into here needs to be on the computer that you are using to connect into this ESXi host. So if, you're, if you have an ISO on a server, for example, then from the server, try to get into the ESXi host and log in and then upload it that way. Otherwise, you copy that ISO onto your computer and connect to the ESXi host that way. You then select ISO and it's gonna browse you to your Windows Explorer on Windows or the Finder on your Mac. You then navigate to that ISO file. I've selected my ISO file right here, which is a actual VMware installer of ESXi 7.0. So I can select that and say choose. And now that process will begin where it's uploading that ISO. So that is now complete under Data Store 01, under the ISOs folder, there is now an ISO file uh, for my VMware ESXi 7 installation. Now that is ready to go. So the next step is then I can now create a VM. I can use an existing VM and I can mount the ISO as a CD DVD drive. We won't go through it in detail, but in summary, let's say I'm gonna create a brand new VM, create new VM, we just call it test VM. We'll leave everything the same. Next, standard, we can leave all this default, right? Now here's where it's important. You can do this in two spots. You can do this under the customized settings area under CD DVD drive right here. I can select data store ISO file or I can do it later on. So for example, I'm building a brand new VM and I wanna use that ISO and now mount off that ISO to be able to install a VM. I can select the data store ISO file right from here, navigate to the data store, navigate to ISOs, navigate to that ISO and say select next. You'll see that down the bottom under CD DVD drive, there is my ISO and finish. So here is now the shell of that VM that I just built. Uh, and now when I start it up, it'll automatically boot and mount that ISO that we've just uploaded. If it's an existing VM, you just right click on that VM, go into edit settings, and then you just navigate to the CD DVD and navigate to that ISO as before. So there you have it. Hopefully you were successful in getting that ISO into the data store and then be able to use that ISO to be able to do whatever you need to do in VMware, whether it be build a new VM or upload some other files and data into an existing VM. Please like, comment below. Please remember to subscribe to Digital Byte Computing, clicking on the notification bell to be up to date with all of my tech video releases. 
That's it for now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.